even if you don't have gains this year, you could take part of those losses on this year's tax return. So you could take up to $3,000 and then push or carry forward the remaining losses for profits that you'll make in 2019. So you can lose, use it uh, as a tax strategy in 2019. So you would, you, would sell, you would save some of those losers, so to speak, and sell them in 2019 no. or sell them now and, and push that forward? Yeah, you okay. sell them now and then if you have more than $3,000 worth of losses, let's say you have 10000 you take 3000 on the 2018 tax return and push 7000 to the 2019 tax return. Wow, and the appreciated stock you could also donate directly. Not that a lot, people have a lot of that to worry right. about this year, <laughs> but if you've been in this market for several years and you want to avoid taxes on that, you could donate it, right? That's perfect. And uh, what you could also do is think about bunching donations. What that means is with the tax rule change uh, starting this year, uh, the standard deduction has increased significantly. So if you make small donations, then you may not be able to uh, cross that hurdle. So if you think about donating every alternative year and save those donations for one year to make, take more of a bang for your buck, then uh, that's a very good strategy as well because that will hopefully get you over that hump. Um, some of the other things you can think about is making 529 plan contributions, especially in states that have a deduction for those contributions. So I know Connecticut, uh, New York has a deduction, uh, and I'm sure there are other states as well. So uh, it's a great time to do that as well. What are some of the other things? I mean, the clock is ticking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what would you say, aside from, from those things, the, the donations that you want to make, tax law selling, what are some of the other things that need to be done by the end of the calendar year? As far as taxes go, you know, with all the tax laws, change, uh, the changes, the deductions uh, have reduced, have gone away significantly. Uh, so there is not a whole lot. But you need to think on a broader term that you mm -hmm. mentioned before. Right now is a good time to think about uh, with this huge change in the market. It's fallen more than 10.5% since the beginning of the year. Uh, some of the target allocations that you've had have moved. So your actual investments in, let's say, the U.S. equity space may be far below where you targeted them to be. And this is a good time to see, okay, do I need to switch gears? Can I lose, uh, can I sell some of the uh, places that have investments that have more of an allocation? and uh, pull them back yeah, and put balance. it towards to uh, something that's fallen short of the target value. Curious.